hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is sky tech digital so in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to add custom domains to your website in elementor hosting so this website is about elementor hosting and how you can be able to add custom domains to your elementor hosting so um this is this is my you know my domain name after creating my website on elementor hosting and then they gave me this um subdomain over here okay and i don't like this one i want to change it okay so how can i be able to change it now make sure that you log into your elementor hosting account over here so this is the website that we are looking at okay so this particular one over here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on ma manage this website so i'm going to click over here which says manage this website now i'm going to go straight down okay so you see where they say manage domains over here so i'm going to click on it um and then over here and uh, beneath the manage domains over here you can see that they they have what um custom domains now as you can see this one is my my domain that i'm having okay now you see this one which says custom domains over here and then you see this one it says buy a domain we're not going to buy a domain i have a domain which i bought um with name chip so i'm going to link that domain to this particular website okay so what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to click on connect my domain by the way if you want to um, get a domain definitely name chip is is a good place to get a domain you can get cheap domains over there i'll leave the link in the description and then you can be able to access it now it's an affiliate link if you want to use that link to purchase um, anything on name chip it will be um helping the channel over here so that is it so just click on connect my domain over here so click on connect my domain and this page will what will open for you so as you can see it says connect a custom domain to kitek digital so what we're going to do is um this guide will help point a domain you own to the site you build with elementor so just enter the domain name over here so i'm going to use this particular domain name okay that is what i'm going to use and then i'm going to click on let's begin now what it does is it will tell you to um, go ahead and log into your name your domain name provider over here now of course i have already logged into my domain name provider and um this is the domain that i'm going to use okay so i'm going to go to my dashboard again and then i'll use the domain that i want to use so i'm going to use this particular domain over here okay so um basically that is it so let, let's see where is it yeah this one over here so i'll say i sign in what's next so i'm going to click on this one and i'll tell you that find your domains settings page go to the domains page on your provider's website log look for this particular domain and go to its settings find the options to manage the domain settings so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here and i'm going to hover on this um, particular domain sign over here and then i'm going to click on either manage or dns um, advanced dns so as you can see this is um the the settings page the domain settings page over here or the uh, manage domains um you know page over here so as you can see that is what that is basically it so what i'll do again is um it says find the option to manage the um domain settings so i'm going to say found it wordness okay so um find your dns records check where the dns records for this domain are edited in the domain settings look there for a and c name records so i'm going to go back over here and then this is the dns okay so as you can see it says advanced dns so i'm going to just click over here and then i'm going to look for um the a and c records so as you can see um i have this one over here which is the c name over here and then um this one definitely is the a records but i can decide to delete it and add those names to it so what i'm going to do is um it says what look at this a and look for the a and c name records so found them what next okay so they said that create a new a record so um you know make sure you make sure only your new a record remains if there are there is an aaa record remove it okay so we're going to remove everything over there and then we create um the a record and then the c name record okay so exactly what we are going to do so i'm going to go over here and then what i'm going to do is um i'm going to create 
or add new record so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete this one and say yes i want to delete it and then delete this one also and say yes i want to delete it now i'm going to create this new records over here so um the first record is the a records that i'm going to create and then um it says we can what we can copy you know this ip so that is the ip that we want to use so the record is say the name is what at okay so um the the host will be just at over here and then we can what copy this ip address and then come over here and then paste it over here and then we can just um you know this one just leave it at automatic and then just click the um the mark sign over there or the correct sign over there now let's go back over here and then also create a c name record okay so um what we're going to do is we're going to create this www and then we also create um this value over here so for the c name we also click on add new record over here and then we look for c name okay so c name record over here and then this one will be www and then the target we're going to copy our website link over here and then come over here and then paste it over here okay and then i'm going to what um just save it so now that i have this one saved now what else do i have to do it says what um save the new records yeah of course we've saved them so as you can see we have saved them over here so um you know you can go through the settings and if nothing is um, what you're supposed to do yes it's just these two things that we are supposed to do over here so i can just go ahead and click on update and connect my domain okay so sit back while we finish setting up we we'll send an email to when the domain is live so they're going to send an email to um you know my website and my email address when the domain is what is live so i'm going to wait for um to see if i'll get an email from elementor that my domain is now live okay guys so i waited for like um some few minutes uh, i think 10 10 15 minutes and then um i got these two emails over here that um you know was successfully added um is now your primary um you know email so i'm going to check these two emails and then i see congrats your custom domain has been successfully added or congrats on your custom domain and then they wrote a whole lot of um, things over here so it means that um users going to this one will be immediately redirected to your website okay that's fine let me check this one also it says what um has been sent has been set so this one they've set um you know this one i don't know why they are saying they've set this one um blah 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 is now set as your primary domain okay fine so that was when they set this one as my primary domain so i can decide to go and then change the primary domain also so um let's go back over here and then as you can see over here um this is what if you go to you know your uh, dashboard over here okay so if you want to go to this settings it's very simple um these are your website okay so if you hover on manage um, this website over here you can go over here and then you can be able to scroll down to see where your um your managed domains are and as you can see they've set this particular one as my primary domain okay so now let's go back over here so i'm going to close this one i'm going to close most of the links over here i'm going to close this one also and then just open this one and then let me just type in this one over here and see if it will redirect me to my custom um, website yeah very good so now i have the custom domain um set up for this particular website so i'm good to go thank you for watching see you in the next video um bye bye <laughs>